so client basically agreed uh, on most of the points with freud she she um, she said that yes okay i do agree with the psychodynamic structure of the mother child relationship i do think that freud is on to something here i do think that there is some sort of uh, um, you know um, complex psychodynamic um, you know sort of common psyche or a, or a some some sort of a bond going on between mother and child which really determines the child's personality and she she agreed with freud on on most of his points the one thing that she didn't agree with um, with freud was that uh, freud uh, basically um, posited that um, object relations or relationship with the mother comes into emphasis much later in a child's life somewhere around the age of 3 4 5 things like that but klein felt that it was actually not accurate she felt that it was there much earlier uh, in fact she felt that it started right at birth and that um, that was the time when actually immediately uh, an infant and mother started this uh, very complex bonding process which would later determine um, the infant's you know uh, own psyche and own sort of uh, personality um now anybody who knows freud knows that freud was obsessed with drives so he felt that everything in a human being's behavior is to um satisfy a certain drive so you have the hunger drive and you have the sexual drive so which is the libido and then later on he also added aggression and um, you know he basically felt that the object in this case or the mother was mainly used to satisfy the drives of hunger survival um, you know and that there was a sexual nature to that as well that the the breast was somehow um, breast feeding or the act of breast feeding was somehow sexual in nature um so his explanation for the drives and the infant's behavior towards the mother to satisfy those drives was very much biological in nature meaning that i need to survive so i'm going to cling to my mother that was where freud was coming from but this is where klein disagreed with him she felt that the object in this case or the mother is not just used to satisfy a certain drive or to survive or for hunger or you know some sort of sexual energy it's more that um the the child is seeking out the object in this case um to form relations with that object and that would eventually help the child form relationships in adult life so she felt that it was not as biologically driven as freud felt it was more emotional it was more uh, coming from a place of feelings and and it was more um a sort of psychological uh, force that was driving um the child towards the mother and the child was seeking out this relation with the object the primary object was which was the mother to essentially learn um things from her to pick up um you know certain aspects of her personality and her psyche and adapt them to his or her own psyche in order to be able to develop a uh, and into a social being who can have adult relationships later on in life so this is basically a couple of points where klein disagreed with her uh, freud um perhaps uh, klein's most uh, uh, one of the most uh, you know um well known contributions is the word fantasy where um she you no know, normal word fantasy starts with an f f a n t a s y fantasy is you know manifestations imaginations things like that of your mind visual imagery of your mind um they are likened to almost dreaming or daydreams um in 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 klein's fantasy which she started with a p h it was not exactly that it was more the unconscious and psychic activities um that happen in the inner world of the infant so she kind of tried to um come up with this new word that um, she felt described what happens in an infant's inner world the reason why this fantasy and that fantasy is different is there's not many explanations about it because you have to understand these are very old theories um there's a lot of books and all written on it but most of the books have uh you know translation problems they are written in foreign languages today by the time they reach us um you know a lot of the messaging is 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 probably not the same as what these these original psychotherapists wrote but from my understanding the reason she made this 
this differentiation between the two words fantasy with an f and fantasy with a ph is because she felt that an infant doesn't really have the knowledge of the world as yet they are just freshly born from the womb so they don't really have enough uh, visual imagery in their mind um, as a memory to kind of create um, fantasies like with an f but the ph fantasy is the fantasy that the that that the child is able to engage in it is the psychic activities that an infant is able to in, engage in in spite of not having any knowledge of the the real world yet so that's why she kind of tried to make this differentiation between um unconscious activities of an infant where and unconscious activities of an adult so this is where the word fantasy for her started she felt that infants have a priori or prior images um of the workings of the body body parts um you know of their mother and themselves and this could explain that how a newborn baby with no knowledge of the outside world who's just freshly born few minutes after birth is able to uh, root around and look for the mother's uh, breast and immediately engage in breastfeeding so klein was very fascinated with this uh, moment uh, after birth where she observed that uh, many infants could actually latch on immediately and they knew exactly where the mother's breast was and this started giving her an idea that infants are born with certain um, certain images and certain mm, knowledge banks that they would need immediately to survive like for example how to breastfeed and um, if you think about it nobody's really ever taught you anything about your body you've always been aware of it the awareness of your body like your limbs your skin your your senses it's very automatic so these were the a priori or prior images that client felt that infants were already born with the knowledge of that you know this is my body this is this is you know even though they are not aware of it but it's automatic knowledge according to her and that this came from the mother so this sort of um a priori images um sort of you know transferred between the mother and the child i know it's a complicated uh, um you know sort of uh, topic to understand or, or point to understand but this was what klein felt that she felt that the mother and child uh, communicated in even in pregnancy and the child could uh, you know absorb these a priori images from the mother's uh, body as well and uh, perhaps klein's biggest contribution to object relations was the aspect of splitting of the object and of the self into good parts and bad parts this is a uh, concept which will come up a lot splitting um, i will explain it to you in detail once we get to the relevant slides mm -hmm.